everybody, Lisa Pizik here. Happy Monday. I had an epic day yesterday of meal prep. It kind of sucked. Poses the question, does meal prep have to suck? No, it doesn't. I know it's not one of our most favorite things to do, but I gotta tell you, I know personally when I get stressed, I know that my nutrition is the one thing that goes out the window. And I know that whatever is in front of me, whenever I open the fridge, when I look on the countertop, whatever is there is what I will eat. So in order for me to be successful this week, I knew that I had to get myself prepared and get myself ready. So it was almost seeing that vision ahead of when I get on the scale at the end of the week, what I want that to look like to show all the hard work that I did starting on Sunday with the meal prep. So I'm currently putting together my top 10 tips to make meal prep not suck, but I wanna share four biggies with you. So number one, just like anything in life, you have to schedule it, right? I knew that on Sunday from 11, I didn't think it was gonna take me that long, honestly, but from 11 to one, was going to be meal prep for me. So I knew I was going to get up, or I knew I was going to sleep in, actually. I planned that. I knew then I was going to get up, have my coffee, snuggle with my family, enjoy the morning. And then I had it scheduled that I knew I was getting in there and getting it done. So, hey, Joey. So number one, schedule that block of time. Have that ready and there that you're like, I, I didn't plan to do anything else. I'm meal prepping. Because when we have other things blocked, we don't, well, maybe we do complain about it, but we know what to expect. We're like, I'm going to the park now. I got to go to work. I got to go to this meeting. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to do, I'm going to read my book. I'm going to have a doctor's appointment. Whatever it is, it's expected. So do the same with your meal prep. Treat it like it's an expected appointment that you have to do. So that's number one. Number two, play tunes. I love Sam Smith. He's my favorite artist of all time. So I literally had those tunes cranking. Music is such a mood elevator. It can make things that are really sucky seem less sucky. So put on some good, uplifting, fun tunes that you love. Sing along, get into it, put on the tunes. That's number two. Number three, your prep. Sometimes the part that sucks is that you feel disorganized or you feel disjointed or you feel like the kitchen is a flipping mess. Make sure you've got adequate counter space. Make sure you've got your containers ready. Make sure you have all the equipment that you need, your frying pans and you know, what, how if you're gonna be crock potting it or whatever you're doing to prep, your good, make sure you've got good sharp knives, right? You get a good peeler. There's nothing worse than struggling with like crappy utensils. I'll tell you the day that we got, it sounds so silly, but the day that we got a brand new peeler, I almost took my finger off, but I was like, oh my God, this is so effortless. The little things in life, right? That you're just, you know, it's effortless, it's easy, it's fun. So make sure that you've got adequate space, you've got all the tools that you need, and that you're set up and ready to go. And then number four out of 10, I'll tell you the six later on, but number four is plan ahead with what you're prepping. So what are you making? I knew that because I'm doing a veggies most week, that I needed to literally prepare all the veggies that I had in the house. So that was gonna be my base for everything. So I zoodled the crap out of stuff. I chopped, pardon me, chopped up eggplant. So I have that that I can roast. I chopped up my cucumbers. We made some guacamole that I can put, you know, use instead of like mayo and stuff like that. But I carrot noodles, zucchini noodles, cabbage noodles, roasted mushrooms, roasted broccoli, roasted cauliflower. And all of that was so easy because I literally had mushrooms on one pan, cauliflower on the other, broccoli on the other, slapped it in the oven, right? So are you meal prepping just breakfast? Are you, are you meal prepping breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Are you meal prepping just your sides? Are you meal prepping just your mains? Have a plan. Don't just haphazardly try to go into it because you're gonna cause yourself some unnecessary stress that you don't need. And I said it before and I'll say it again, blast the tunes because the tunes are what makes it so much 
fun. So those are my four tips to make meal prep less sucky. I want you to try those this weekend. Get yourself set up for a rockin' week the following week, and let me know if you have any questions. And if you want my top 10 ways to make meal prep not suck, if you want the other six, shoot me your email. And when I have that finished this week, I will be happy to send that off to you. All right, guys, catch you again soon. Go rock it. Bye.